Let me get some phone calls in here. Uh, Anthony in Florida. Hi, Anthony. What's on your mind today? Hey, Danny. How are you? Good, sir. Uh, 6'1", 250. 11% body fat. <laughs> okay. Um, want to comment about your uh, Sabbath trying to be a Led Zeppelin. You weren't a Sabbath fan? Yeah. Growing up? Yeah. Sabbath was never like Led Zeppelin. They were contemporaries, totally different. Um, actually, we're out before Led Zeppelin. And if you're a Zeppelin fan, you're most likely a Deep Purple and a Sabbath fan because of their, uh, you know, what they gave to rock and hard rock and all the influences they had. I mean, yeah, I just, I, I never, I, I just, there was nothing about, you know, Ozzy, Black Sabbath. Sorry. I mean, I, 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 I have no real excuse other than I just loved Led Zeppelin, The Stones, Who. Um, but we have these conversations all the time. You know, maybe I overrate Led Zeppelin. Having seen them in concert, they were actually boring. Because they, back then there was no real stage show. It would be, hey, John Bonham is going to do a 27-minute Drum solo. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to go get something to drink. Jimmy Page, great guitar player. The music was great. The concert was not great. Yes, Eden. Yeah, they talk about uh, Led Zeppelin had that movie uh, or like documentary, The Song Remains the Same. Yeah. And that by the time they had released that documentary, rock music had moved forward so much in terms of like a stage show and all this stuff that they released this movie and people were like, damn, this band's really boring. Yes. Because they just kind of went up there and it was sparse, you know? It was just them and some spotlights and music, which sounds awesome, actually, but... One of the best concerts I ever went to was Pink Floyd. And they had an album called Animals. And they had these floating animals in there. The pig is yeah, coming out. It, but but, but it, I just remember that one of the first real stage shows... Uh, Jagger, when I saw the Stones in the early 70s, that's when Jagger was wearing the Philadelphia Eagles jersey. I think it was number 21, John Shara. And uh, there was a phallic symbol that came out of the stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I found a picture already. Yeah, so I, I saw them, and, and then I watched. So that year I saw, uh, saw the Who and the Stones, and... The Who put on an unbelievable show, and, and Pete Townsend was everything I thought he was going to be on guitar. But the Stone, when I saw the Stones, it was like there was a stage presence there about that. And uh, Zeppelin never had that. Uh, and, and then all of a sudden things changed. I saw Bowie uh, when, when Bowie was out there with his uh, white suit on. So I miss Ziggy Stardust. But he still put on a great show. It was more theatrical, more Broadway feel to it. But, yeah, I mean, Ozzy, all I knew was that he bit off the uh, the head of a, a what was a pigeon or something? A bat. A bat. <laughs> that was, was that like a one-time or was that like a nightly occurrence no, on the no, tour? No, no. You know, here's one. The first real stage show that I ever saw was Alice Cooper. Welcome to my nightmare? Yes. And he had a guillotine. Like, oh. like Alice Cooper put on a great show. Like it, it, it had that stage presence that it felt like he really was putting on a Broadway show. Yes, he. So I just googled Ozzy Osbourne, um, and this is horrifying. One of the most infamous days of Ozzy Osbourne's career Sharon! came on March 27th, 1981, when he bit the heads off two white doves during a business meeting with his record label. That's how you negotiate. That's how you negotiate. I mean business. Yeah? yeah? What are you going to do? Yeah. I need an advance. Now, does he bring the doves in with him? Like, yeah. what happens? Pretty bird. Yeah, so he's, he's like petting it. like Pretty bird. And then the doves going... Like a long coat. Yeah. They're hidden in a long coat. Yeah. And pulls them out. A little honey mustard on the side. <laughs> Holy smokes. We said we would get you lunch, Ozzy. What's wrong with you?